Okay, she's the one who runs all that. Every security agency in the country is under her thumb. That interesting looking lady we just saw. Well, now we get to the, this nonsense about searching people at airports, and it's all because of 9 11. They said Arabs, you know, and then we have the CIA sponsored. Uh, stooges that come in with the, you know, exploding shoes and exploding underwear, and it's been fully documented, fully admitted that those are, you know, those were not individual terrorists. They were patsies. Even even the one with the, wasn't the underwear guy led on by a led onto the plane by a CAA guy? I that I'm not here to tell that story, but the whole point is. Janet Napolitano, you just saw acting like, you know, what day is this, uh, is cold and calculating and trying to defend all of her actions with the scanners. And this whole, this whole movement that's now a real nationwide movement is going to stop the scanners. People are beginning to realize they can protest and they can change things. People that have never been in a 9-11 movement or any other movement are getting pissed about you know, their freedoms being taken away on airplanes. They say that their constitutional rights are, you know, somehow waived when you buy a ticket to an airplane. That's not true. You never ra waive your constitutional rights. I mean, there is no circumstance under which you are needed, that you need to do that. I mean, there's no way they can require you to do that. And of course, it turns out that they're the district attorney of San Mateo County, that's the San Francisco county that has the San Francisco airport, um, is going to prosecute any of those TSA people. It's against the law. If they touch you on the outside of your clothing, that's a misdemeanor, and they're going to be arrested for it. If they touch you inside their clothing, which has been confirmed that they're doing now, in case you didn't know, that's a felony, and they're going to be arrested, and that's happening all over. Now, we're going to take this empowerment to the 9-11 movement, and you're going to see some people start complaining about 9-11. We want that investigation that's, to, that's required by law. It's customary. Now, let's have it. Let's have some indictments. Let's have some prosecutions. In the meantime, Janet Napolitano is lying again. Now, Alex Jones was kind of the forerunner of all this TSA stuff. He brought it to light. And, you know, if you, Alex Jones, that weirdo nutcase, and he's the one who started all this. He, he, an article from his website got picked up by the Drudge Report, which is a conservative blog, and that went viral. And then everybody goes to Alex Jones' website, and now the whole United States is in an uproar, even the ones that don't know where it came from, but they know that they're, they're upset. So here we go with this video. It's uh, Alex Jones talking about Janet Napolitano and the TSA. Friends, we have a huge update for you on the gigantic revolt going on in the United States against the naked body scanners and these molestation pat-downs. Mr. Pistol, uh, the head of the TSA, has come out on CNN this morning and said that they're now not going to do the enhanced pat-downs, the grabbing of the genitals and breast of pilots, because it's common sense that they're allowed to fly the giant aircraft and they could use it as a weapon. So if you trust them to fly the plane, why do you have to put them through all of these invasive North Korean style uh, searches? Well, why didn't they think of that to begin with? Because they want to make everybody submit and federally take control of all transportation. This is a giant Tenth Amendment violation. It's a huge power grab. And you've got all these high powered lobbyists and uh, former Homeland Security heads and senators like Alphonse D'Amato and others who are making millions of dollars off these scanners. And now they say they want to use the scanners all over the country, that they want to put them in mobile vans and at schools. We're talking about tens of billions of dollars here. So although we have acquired these machines, they are not as widely deployed as they should be. In your current role as a consultant, do you have an interest in body scanners? I, you know, I, to be, we consult with all kinds of firms, including firms that do manufacture body scanners. You do have some, some interest in, uh, in, in, in more sales of body scanners. Uh, as well as a lot of other security measures. But I would point out that I've talked about this for probably the last three years. 
But all of that pales in significance to Big Sis, the head of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano, in an article in USA Today. The entire thing is a complete lie. She is boldly throwing it in your face. I mean, I just went livid with anger when I saw this. Napolitano says scanners are safe, pat-downs discreet. You've got all of these different federal boards and the International Atomic Energy Agency uh, and John Hopkins University, uh, the director of the radiology department, saying how dangerous it is in mainstream news articles. And she quotes in here that John Hopkins University says it's safe when they're all over the French news agency, AP, Reuters, CNN, the very same group saying it's dangerous. She writes an article saying John Hopkins says it's safe. I mean, these are insanely brazen and out in the open lies, but it gets worse. Look at the headline itself. Scanners are safe, that's a lie, and pat-downs are discreet. It's discreet to have some man or woman you don't know press into your genitals and grab your wife's breast or your small children touch them on their private parts. That's discreet. It's discreet to do this out in the open in front of everyone. I fly a lot, folks. I see it all the time. I've seen them make women raise their dresses up. And that's in mainstream news. Just a week and a half ago, the TSA was out saying we don't touch genitals. Uh, I mean, it's, it's wild the things they do. And the lies continue. She needs to be challenged on this. And she needs to know uh, that the backlash is only intensifying. I saw a Reuters uh, poll that was linked up on the Drudge Report, drudgereport.com. And they had over 60,000 respondents to it, and 97% said they wouldn't be flying because of it. Everyone I know isn't flying. My wife and children haven't flown in years because of this. Here's another lie. She goes on and says, we've always done these pat-downs. This is no big deal. Well, they've always done light pat-downs if the metal detector goes off, just to check you don't have some big knife or something. This is new. They announced these enhanced pat-downs three weeks ago, and in their own TSA press release said they would be touching the groin, the crotch, and the breast, and we all saw it on the news as the media tried to sell it to us. The corporate media said this was the best thing since sliced bread, and the lies just continue from there. So she's saying these are the same old pat-downs that they've always had, not true. Think about the arrogance of this lady. When you read her USA Today article, it is a tissue. It is a compendium of lies, and it shows the disdain that they have for us. But the biggest lie of them all, and it's so brazen. Think of the disdain she has for the public. Homeland Security Director Napolitano says, A, that the machines cannot store images, and that B, they're not storing the images, when it's come out months and months ago that federal and state courthouses, airports, that they've been saving them, and that it's in the manuals for the naked body scanners that they do save the images and that they can save the images. Ladies and gentlemen, these people are tyrants. Napolitano is a liar. Napolitano is a liar. And the sleeping giant that is America is awakening. I want to thank the alternative media. I want to thank the Drudge Report for really pushing this story all the way out into the open. If we don't hang together, we'll all hang separate uh, as Benjamin Franklin said, I would rather face the supposed dangers of terrorism than live as a slave. America is not a 1984 society, and the backlash is intensifying. Even the Chicago Tribune calls it the government in your pants. Forbes magazine says, abolish the TSA. The people running this homeland security power grab, and the lobbyists making billions of dollars off of this scam, need to understand something. You're not going to win this fight. The people are awake. The giant is rising. We're going to bring liberty back to this country. Regardless of what you think of these naked body scanners and the enhanced pat-downs, it's important to understand Napolitano is lying to you. She is arrogantly telling you there's no radiation danger. She's arrogantly telling you that this is done in privacy and that it's not invasive, that it's discreet. She's telling you they don't save the images when on record they do. She's saying they can't even save them when we have the manuals to the machines saying they save them. This is the arrogance that we're dealing with. These people are slime balls, and they're trying to break our will. They're trying to train us to get away with anything they want. But their house of cards 
is falling. So we've just got to keep the pressure up and don't just opt out on the 24th. Stop flying entirely because if we don't stop them here, they're going to expand the roadways with their Viper teams. This is the takeover of society, the takeover of commerce, the end of our republic. This issue is incredibly important and we're getting major headway on it and people are realizing the power they have to say not just no, but hell no. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Okay, that's Alex Jones. And by the way, in case you didn't know it, they've already got 500 mobile scanning vans with far more power than the, you know, the body scanners in the airline uh, that are they're using at the airlines airports uh they're capable of scanning all the way through your house from the street and that takes a lot of power and they're just doing it 500 of them what do you suppose they need that for well since we're talking about brazen liars that's a perfect segue to this next cut this is uh, uh rachel maddow does a beautiful job of analyzing the subject here rachel maddow is not <laughs> the brazen liar she's the, the heroine, the champion of this one. But, okay, let her roll. You'll, it speaks for itself. Oh, okay, well, go ahead and, go ahead and do uh, whatever the last cut is. Well, if you if you can't do that, then run fifteen. I don't care. We'll we'll go ahead and run this other cut. Then Bob Bowman will tell you about he's he's a retired colonel, Vietnam fighter pilot, hundred and some odd uh, fighter forays above Vietnam, and uh, what he has to say really sums up the thoughts of our movement and why nine eleven is so important. And we'll play that other cut right after it. So go ahead and let this. Bob Bowman. Play 15. We're having trouble, we're having trouble getting it past 10. All right, play, play 12 and I'll come in there. No, I don't, it won't go past 10. Oh. For many people, George W. Bush became a hero that day. But soon, the question started. Based on some of the intelligence briefings you had gotten, did you not have any idea who was behind this? I mean, we all surmised it was Al-Qaeda, but before you make a decision to go find somebody, you want to make sure the intelligence is as good as it can get. In the next couple of days, we heard all kinds of chatter and celebratory talk, and so it became clear it was Al-Qaeda. Did you ever ask yourself the question, what more could I have done to prevent this from happening? Uh, well, we just didn't have any int solid intelligence that gave us a warning on this. I, mean, I want to ask you some questions about the August 6, 2001 PDB. And I ask you whether you recall the title of that PDB. I believe the title was Bin Laden Determined to Attack Inside the United States. Now, George W. Bush is still selling the same spin he tried to sell when he was president. That is less surprising than the opposite would be. If George W. Bush finally decided to say, yes, we did have substantive intelligence ahead of 9-11 that we should have heeded and the intelligence agencies and analysts who got it right should be praised for that and we should learn from how they got it right and I regret that we didn't pay more attention and listen to what they said, that would be new from him and that would therefore be big news. That would be a big change from the George W. Bush of the past. As it stands though, but we just didn't have any int solid intelligence that gave us a warning on this. I, mean, I believe the title was Bin Laden Determined to Attack Inside the United States. As it stands, George W. Bush 2010 appears to be not at all discontinuous with the two terms of the Bush presidency. But there's 